Oh, to God's unchanging hand. Hallelujah. <laughs> song says time is filled with swift transition not a earth unmoved can stand feel your hopes on things it turns Unchanging hand, oh, to God's hand, God's unchanging hand, you ought to hold to God's hand, God's unchanging hand, feel your hopes on things eternal. second verse says, trust in God who will not leave you. Whatsoever years may bring, if by earthly friends forsaken, still more closely to God claim everybody ought to hold to God's hand God's unchanging hand you ought to hold to God's hand God's unchanging hand feel your hopes on things last verse says, when your journey is completed, if to God you have been true, hallelujah, fair and bright the home and glory. Enraptured soul will view everybody ought to hold to God's hand, God's unchanging hand. You ought to hold to God's hand, God's unchanging hand. Feel your hopes on things. God's unchanging hand, you ought to hold to God's hand. God's unchanging hand, feel your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. My God, my God, my God. Mm. Woo!
There's something in that. <laughs> Thank you, Minister Chief. Thank you. I feel like we just stepped through a portal. Did anybody hey, stand? I say, I say, I say. I say. Hey, man. Hey, hey, we just went somewhere. Went somewhere. Channeling them spirits. Did we not? Lord, 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 Lord. Uh, yeah, it was a combination kind of thing. You know, I don't know. I don't know if we went to the church or the juke. <laughs> the juke on Saturday. Oh, one in the same. Thank God for both of them. One in the same. Throw that thing. I'm trying to fix this light. Hey, hey, glory. Mm, you better hold. Hold on. God's hands. Amen. I shake. To I shall. Ah. I shall. So I I'm about to make me wreck this oh. car now. Listen. Oh my, oh my. Sometimes you just gotta sit with the with sit with the sound. Huh? Oh, That's you hear it. that hammond. That's it. You hear that hammond. You hear that hammond. There is a sound that is the black church. Oh my. Yeah. And we ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Glory, it glory, glory, you. glory. Let it be what you need. This is a sound healing session. Oh my, oh my. Transport some of us in our memories. Ah. I say. Yes, yes, yes. And for those who have never been there before, you are welcome to let the sound do what it needs to do. Oh my God, let it remind you of what it needs to remind you in your of in your ancestral memory. As we all hold, hold on, hold fast. Uh, there's another hymn that says, you know, uh, in fact, it's this one at the beginning that says, Time is filled with swift transition. Stuff moves quickly, things happen fast. Swift, come on. Huh? Yay. Uh, Swift no transition. Way. Count on this change. You better hold. <laughs> There's another song that says, "My soul has been anchored." Anchored. Oh my. Anchored, anchor, anchor. So you're not like a ship without a sail, tossed and driven. Battle by this, an anchor. Hey. <laughs> sea of time. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ain't nothing wrong with a little church. <laughs> Every once in a while. Is that all right today? Amen, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. On this Women's Herstory Month. Is that all right? All right. Uh, all right. And in the spirit of us uh, embracing and claiming the whole community, because that's how we do as well, huh? Amen. Amen. So we don't have to apologize to the brothers for elevating. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And hallelujah. That's correct. Amen. They know who they are. They know who they be. They know we love them and they are equally or uh, equitably. Huh. Equitably. Honored. And so are they and them. They I are say, equitably. They and uh, them. They identify in this whole space. Amen. And I say, but this month, huh? We are honoring and standing in agreement with honoring the women and our stories. Amen. And I say, as we continue in this Lenten season, how y'all doing on that fasting from judgmentalism that we were invited to last week? Uh, were you aware of it? it? It crops up easily, doesn't it? It pops up so easily. Uh, if you're paying attention. It's not an easy fast, but it's a worthy one. Amen. All right. Amen and amen, amen and amen. Woo. Can I just get one more hallelujah in the room? I just can't move right now. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Build your hopes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. God, we thank you. Build your hopes on things eternal, on infinity. Amen. <laughs> on the everlasting. 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 Uh, everlasting. Uh, everlasting. Yeah, so well, I'm directing the choir, but I'm making an infinity symbol. There you go. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. on the sinking sand. Listen. <laughs> but on forever. 
Oh, my God. Does anybody need a forever today? <laughs> forever. Ah, yes, yes, Lord. That's what hope is. Hope has to be placed and situated somewhere. It's, you hoping for something. It didn't say build your assurance home. You already have assurance. Blessed assurance is mine. Build Jeez. your hope. Hmm. I just went somewhere. That's all right. Hmm. On things eternal. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, God. It's called holding on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta hold your hope. Mm -hmm. And guess what? We are eternal. Ashe. We keep coming. Going and on and on and on. There's a place Ooh. back in the day called Don't Bother Me, I Can't Cope. If you ever get a minute, it's on YouTube. My mama used to teach that play. Don't Bother Me, I Can't, I can't Cope. And there's a scene in that play called They Keep Coming. <laughs> we did that as a libation and they start calling the names of the ancestors. They keep coming. Uh -oh. They keep coming. They keep coming. Some of y'all remember that from Rise back in the day. Ooh, we keep coming. All right. Keep coming. Glory, glory, glory. I'm gonna read. Uh, this is the legendary text for today. And when I read it, I said, that's the one. And we're going to focus right here and make the connection between this text and uh, Look it up. Luke 13, uh, only four verses, 31 through 35. I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. Listen for the word of the most high at the very hour some pharisees came well how many of you know that some pharisees will come <laughs> yes they will and said to him get away from here Herod wants to kill you he this is yes you are here hamashiach jesus in the greek said to them go and tell that fox for me listen i am casting out demons and performing miracle cures today and tomorrow and on the third day, I finished my work. Hmm. Yet today and tomorrow and the next day, I must be on my way because it is impossible for a prophet to be killed outside of America, of Jerusalem. All right. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often have I desired to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood or her chicks under her wings? and you were not willing. See, your house is left to you. And I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to Thanks God. Be to God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, just for a few minutes, I wanna talk about this. When discipline speaks. All right. Y'all see these powerful ancestors up here. When sim when 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 disciplines speaks mm, in its context, this passage of scripture, written by the author of Luke Acts, finds Yeshua in conversation with the Pharisees, a sect of Jewish religious leaders. Amen. He's having this conversation with these uh, religious rulers. And Yeshua was traveling. Um, if you read the whole chapter, um, and particularly the verses that um, immediately precede these, it says that he was traveling from village to village, teaching the marginalized communities, uh, speaking out against religious hierarchy and those who uh, think they are citizens of the reign of God. But according to Yeshua, according to Jesus, they might not actually be. Mm -hmm. They identify, uh, and we use random in instead of kingdom to get away from the militaristic language of the text. Um, Jesus says, people will come from east, west, north, and south, and they will eat in the random. Oh my. Then he says, the last will be first, and the first will be last. Hmm. How y'all think they felt about that? <laughs> oh my, they got angry mm -hmm. with him. Didn't like that, Pastor. They didn't like it, they didn't like it. And the Pharisees, uh, they, they tell him, get away from here. Uh, Herod wants to kill you. Mm -hmm. The Herodians, 
were a family situated by the Roman empire to rule the Jewish people, these oppressed people uh, like a mob family, like the Corleones in the Godfather. Did you see it? The Herodians, uh, right. a family of oppressed oppressors. And so this Herod uh, is not the same Herod, I'm sure um, that was around when Jesus was born, was born uh, but there were Herods that were in power. And they say, try to, he's trying to kill you the one in power now. And they try to scare Jesus with this. He's coming for you and he has a hit out on your life. Oh, but there's a serious clapback in this passage. Y'all know what a clapback mm -hmm. is. Uh, a clapback, a snapback, a jump off. <laughs> folks still saying clapback. I don't know what we're saying right now. Uh, folks got a beef, right? Whatever. But there's one in this text, one of the greatest, I think, in the gospel writings. And it's interesting because I never preached it before. Uh, when I read this passage of scripture, I immediately thought about a black woman. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I immediately, stay with me. I ain't talking about the angry black woman trope, but stay with me. I thought about black women. I thought about indigenous first people, women. I thought about women of color. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna talk about the black women today. Is that all right? Mm, yeah talk about it as they say we know all genders matter but i'm talking about the black women right now I say, I say. when i read this i almost wanted to title this sermon this is our story and this is our song because you could put a black woman right here uh, i saw jesus as a black woman with her hands on her hip uh-huh with that drawback face mm-hmm mm -hmm. And the clap in our hand. Listen here. You tell that box for me. Hey. It's in the Bible. He, Yeshua says, go tell that fox. Call the man a name. Listen, I am casting out demons and performing miracles on today. I'll be doing that again on tomorrow. And on the third day, then when I get good and ready, and when it's time, I'll finish my work. Are you still here? But not today. Not today, Fox, not today. Gone now. Anybody ever heard one of them? Gone now with all that. I got work to do. As the well-known poet Lucille Clifton said, every day something has tried to kill me, but it failed. <laughs> huh? Jesus said, this ain't new. Been trying to kill me right. for years. Every day, something right. that somebody has tried to kill me. I saw Yeshua as that black woman. Every day, something has tried to kill her. Oh my, am I talking to anybody here? But oh, I got yes. stuff to do. Go on with that now. Go on now. The grown folks are talking. Let the grown ups talk. Go on now. Uh -huh. Go on now with that fear mongering. Mm. Fear reared up, but discipline answered. I'm going somewhere. All right. Ah, oh, sounds like Mary of Magdala. We call Mary Magdalene, contending with patriarchal disciples who didn't value her voice and a council of men that would centuries later vote her voice and her gospel out of the Bible. Sure did. But she told her story anyway. Mary of Magdala and Mary J. Blige. <laughs> Saying, yes, these New York projects in Yonkers brought so much pain and are holding me. I had to fight and survive as a Black girl who was molested and saw my mama endure violence in the hood. But I'm going to go in the studio with Puff and sing my songs. Then I'm going to go do these tours and I'm going to save some women's lives who are going through what I'm going through. And then I'm going to do this role on Power on Stars and smash that. And then I'm going to go give it to y'all at the Super Bowl at 51 years old because I've heard the testimonies of the lives my music has literally saved. The Black women who have come up to me and said, I can relate to your story. You saved my life. You kept me from jumping off the bridge literally because you chose vulnerability and authenticity. The Mary saying, go on now, go on now without all that. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Do you think when Jesus got up in the morning, it was like a Disney princess movie? 
with birds chirping in the trees, <laughs> flying around onto his arm, bright songs being played with flutes. Y'all know that Disney scene. The forest creatures coming up and saying, good morning, good morning. <laughs> did he feel like that all the time? Mm -hmm. Uh, or did he have to also work, decide to live in discipline, to let discipline speak when it needed to speak? Did he always feel like doing what he felt like doing every single day? There's indications in the text that that might not have been so. Did he wake up every day with sunshine and roses skipping all along the way? I don't think so. But his purpose and his reason for being compelled him to keep moving, to keep going, and to keep speaking truth to power, to save his people from the oppressors, which is why he told him, go on with all of that. That's it. Do you think Harriet Tubman jumped for joy each time she knew she had to travel back south? No, indeed. <laughs> but in the words of Dr. Katie Geneva Cannon, she did the work that her soul must have because she was a prophet, a leader, a warrior, and had fire shut up in her bones. Are you still here? Say. When God is on your side, you have discipline. You do what you prefer and do not prefer to do consistently and over time and with a good disposition. Best disposition you got. Uh, they chose the way of discipline and it carried them forward and through. When you need discipline, heed God's word, which demands it, and remember to call on the ancestors that had it. Do y'all believe I'm almost done with this sermon already? Reverend Jarena Lee was told by Bishop Richard Allen and Bishop Morris Brown and the men of the AME church that women could not be exhorters. Exhorters. Well. Because black men couldn't even be preachers and reverend. <laughs> Only white men could be reverends and be ordained. Mm -hmm. Black Tell men it. were relegated to being exhorters and black women were re relegated to being prayer meeting leaders. Go mm -hmm. lead the prayer meeting. Say it. Mm -hmm. And so that's what she was told. But discipline opened her mouth and said, if the man may preach because the savior died for him, why not the woman seeing he died for her also? That's correct. Is he Say not it. a whole savior instead of a half of one? Oh my. Sad. Oh my. And in one year alone, she traveled 2,325 miles, a lot of it on foot, and preached 178 sermons. Go on now with all that. Mm. Go on. Glory, glory. Rebecca Cox Jackson and I have work to do. Sad. Fanny Lou Hamer was beaten by white policemen within an inch of her life. She suffered permanent damage to her eye and to her kidney. If you have not seen Fannie Lou Hamer's America on PBS, I urge you to go and to watch it. I might do a viewing up in here one night on Zoom because I want everybody to see it. Fannie Lou Hamer, but her discipline, uh -huh, discipline spoke and she called out uh, both what she referred to as the National Association for the Advancement of Certain People. She said it criticizing uh, the NAACP for being classic classes and for touting a politics of respectability only for the middle class black people. And she also called out the racism of this nation as she spoke at the Democratic National Convention through passion and tears, go on with that. Now I got work to do on behalf of the poor people of Mississippi and disenfranchised people everywhere. Do you hear the black women in this text? Do you hear Reverend Pauli Murray, a civil rights activist, lawyer and gender equity advocate, the first black woman to be ordained as an Episcopal priest who was rejected from a PhD program at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill because she was black and the NAACP refused to take her case. And it was suspected it was because of concerns about her sexuality and her being a lesbian woman. She was arrested and jailed in 1940 for refusing to give up her seat on a bus with her friend in 1940, long before Rosa Parks. It was Paulie Murray. Ah, Herod is coming for you, Paulie. But discipline opened her mouth and said, go on with all that now. As she wrote State's Laws on Race and Color, this book that Thurgood Marshall called the Bible of the Civil Rights Movement, she paved the way for the late uh, Supreme Justice uh, uh, Judge Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who, who wouldn't be who she was if it wasn't for Pauli Murray. Can I call the role of these ancestors? 
Uh, I look like a TikTok video. Coretta Scott King. Paul Rowe. Uh, are y'all still here? Are we still at a church? Are oh, still yeah. holding the cards unchanging? Oh, yes, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. As we bring this universe into some equity and into some balance, uh, Iyami Ajay, I'm talking to you. Coretta Scott King was often not given her rewards, her just rewards, apart from being her husband's wife. But how many of you know that she was a leader in her own right? She lived through her house being bombed too and had to keep her discipline alive as she walked alongside her husband in the movement. Huh? And as she walked through going through deep grief when uh, Martin Luther King Jr. transitioned. Uh, but discipline kept going and she became uh, even stronger activist. Uh, she was a musician and a singer and, and sang uh, protest songs for the movement. Uh -huh. She founded the King Center here in Atlanta and she lifted her voice as an advocate for the LBGTQ uh, uh, community. Go on, she said with all that. Audre Lorde, that mighty feminist writer and activist who was castigated for being a lesbian mother warrior for it. Are you tired of me saying the word lesbian, 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 bit, ha, 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 uh -huh, we're going to speak it in this space. But discipline opened her mouth and reminded us that poetry is not a luxury. Discipline opened her mouth and reminded us that the master's tools will never dismantle the master's house. Discipline opened her mouth and said, our silence will not protect us. Go on with all that. This is our story and this is our song. Jesus said, it is impossible for a prophet to be killed outside of Jerusalem. <laughs> Jerusalem, Jerusalem, that city that kills those who speak the truth to power and stones those who are sent to it to try to help it. Mm. Oh my, yeah. what kind of discipline does it take to stay on your mission when you must head toward Jerusalem? Mm. Come on, Lent. We're on our way. We're on our way to Holy Week. What kind of discipline does it take, Rise family, to stay in your divine purpose and walk out your destiny as you head toward Jerusalem? What kind of, of doing what you prefer to do and what you don't does it take to face toward the place that will persecute you? What oh kind my. of consistency? The, what kind of consistent choice to raise your voice does it take huh? to say it when they want to hear it and when they don't? Shout out to Joe Stu, Cultural Currency, and this Ella Baker. Ella Baker, Ella Baker, what did it take for these ancestors to lift their voices? America, America, that kills its prophets and stones those who are sent to it and who are the descendants of those brought here against their will. America, America, who beat Fannie Lou Hamer and killed Sandra Bland. America, America, who killed Martin and Malcolm and Medgar. America, America, who beat, raped, and lynched countless unnamed women, who gave African countries Jesus and took the land, who gave Black churchgoers theologies for the docile and the meat to keep them guilt-ridden and quiet. America, America, we need not even journey to you. We live with you every day. Preach. Rise. Will our discipline keep speaking? And truth be told, discipline speaks for itself. <laughs> I just said all thing. Discipline speaks for itself. That's correct. It is evident <laughs> when it is present. The fruit is falling all off the tree. Will we have discipline as Jesus did? even unto death on a cross. Mm. He would not come down. Oh, we ain't there yet, but we're going. Because the revolution, the revolution was on the horizon. The revolution that included radical warrior women who birthed themselves down through generations. Did you hear what I just said? And rose up as goddesses, Bobby Will, with the sun at their heads and the moon at their feet. As womb women, the owners of life and death. 
uh, we are, who laid down their own livelihood and lives as martyrs to spread the gospel and to birth freedom. Lucille Clifton also says she birthed her own Dahomean warrior woman bloodline through her own daughter who gave her a kidney. Oh my. She birthed what she needed. <laughs> Woo! Women who out of their solar plexus claimed their space and passion and power and got it done. That's it. Brothers, are you with us? Will we, like Yeshua, when the Pharisees, when the naysayers, when the haters, when the fear mongers, when the unbelievers come, huh? Will we check hmm. our calendars and say, um, okay, excuse me, but today um, uh, we will be casting out the demons of white uh, so-called supremacy. Uh -huh, that's we, um, We're going to be up to that today. And then tomorrow uh, we will be having prayer and healing circles to cast out the trauma inflicted mm -hmm. on us. Uh, by this pandemic and other pandemics and their disparities. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that today. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. We'll be working mm -hmm. um, the days after that, according to my calendar. Um, after that, bringing good news uh -huh. uh, to the poor and liberty to the captives like uh Ashe, Ashe. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh-huh. 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 So don't worry about my calendar now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. But the naysayers mm -hmm. come back and they say, uh-huh, uh-huh. You better mm -hmm. not get out there because you'll suffer a Facebook death. Uh -huh. Facebook is going gonna to execute you and nobody will, will post about you and nobody's going like right. your post, uh huh. Social right. media kills the prophets and make your own people ashamed of a black and liberating gospel, uh huh. But will mm -hmm. we say that's fine? Will discipline speak, uh huh, and say we will be bringing healing and transformation to our people? And when our work is finished on the third day, the next generation <laughs> is gonna run on and see what the end is gonna be. When that's we get it. done on the third day, like Jesus did, we're gonna be resurrected until a new heaven and a new earth. Talk our about reality, it, uh huh. On the third day, do you see it on the calendar? We will rise. Guys, again, go on now. Talk about it. Go Hi, on. come on. Praise him. Go on now. We got work to do. Go on now. We're going to do the work that our soul must have. That's it. That's it. Hmm. In fact, I got a picture over for her over here. Nah. Get this live picture. Mm hmm. Of this ancestor, I'll just take that on off right there, and over there, mm -hmm. next to Yeshua, over here for mm -hmm. representation. Of. <laughs> we got go on now. Mm, as I close, I want to read the lectionary psalm for today, which is Psalm twenty-seven. Oh yes, and as um. I preached the Psalms recently for a good bit. And I shared the perspective of African women scholars on the Psalms and brother scholars who said that in the African context, they read the Psalms as incantations of protection and healing. I wanna read Psalm 27 in the African way. Is that all right? That's good. And as I read, I invite you to place one hand on your, right in here, huh? on this energy, below your heart, the solar plexus. And I want you to hear these words if you feel like fainting. The Lord is my light. I'm gonna read this in the ancestral language, Baba Will, is that all right? <laughs> And my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life or the stronghold of my life. Me to, to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Oh, that's good. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise up against me, uh, in mm -hmm. Ukraine, in Yemen, mm -hmm. uh, in Syria, mm -hmm. in the hood. Yeah, listen. Yet will I be confident. One thing have I asked. Mm -hmm. Lord, that will I seek after to live in the house of the Most High all the days of my life, to behold the beauty 
of the most high and inquire in God's temple. Mm -hmm. For God will hide me in God's shelter in the day of trouble. God will conceal me under the cover of God's tent. God will set me high on a rock. Yeah. Now my head is lifted up. Or offer in Olaroon's tent sacrifices with joy and shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody. Hear, O oh God, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. Come, my heart says. See God's face. Thy face, the writer said, do I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not cast me off. Do not forsake me, O oh God of my salvation. If my father and my mother forsake me, you will take me up. Teach me your way, O oh Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Y'all better get this one. Do not give me up to the will of my adversaries. For false witnesses have risen against me and they are breathing out violence. But I believe <laughs> I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Oh God, I will. Yeah, yeah, Hallelujah. right there. Right there. Do you believe it? I uh, say. Sure. We believe that we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Mm-hmm. Wait for the Lord mm -hmm. and be of good be courage. Be of good courage, yeah. And Jah will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say. Wait, I say. Wait, I say. On the Lord. Let your discipline speak for you let it be in you around you under you over you to carry you over huh chief as we hold to god's unchanging hand amen 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 i say i say i say i say oh I say, I say. Woo. Give it back to it, God. Give it back. Mm. Mm. You got to hold fast. That's what that holding is. It is the call to, to discipline. Mm. It is the call to remember that the journey of Jesus is supposed to be our journey too. That's it. That's the connection. That's it. That's it, Omi. We don't read about Jesus and not hear ourselves. Yeah. We read yeah. ourselves into the text. That's it. We are Yeshua in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are our ancestors in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember at the end of the movie, Malcolm X, all the little kids said, I am Malcolm X. I am Malcolm X. I am Malcolm X. I am Malcolm X. That's it. Who are you? I am Harriet Tubman. I am Harriet Tubman. Woo! If you are here, we extend to you the invitation. I say thank you, Pastor Kay, for that message, for that reminder, um, and for a call for us to meditate on as we go throughout this week and as we go forward in general. Um, who are we and what is it that discipline is saying to us? At this time, we are gonna ask that our deacon ministry lead us in our prayers for the people and in our hadia. Mother, Father, great God, we thank you yet again for a stretching word, for a word that finds us and helps liberate us if we're willing to join in and do our part. God, we thank you for our pastor. We ask and pray that you restore. Give back everything that was pouring out, God. 
for we know that this was not in vain. Help us, God, to show the discipline, the liberative discipline, God. Help us to walk in it. Help us to know that we are not standing alone even on our best days. There are people that need us. There are people that we need. Help us to walk in community honorably with you and with the people you put in our path. God, for the people this week, we ask and pray that you heal from the inside out. Find us no matter where we are. Speak to that place, healing, peace, and joy. Help us to know, God, that we've been through it before. We'll go through it again with the same victory, knowing that you will walk beside us, and you do walk beside us, and you will always walk beside us. Bless the gift, bless the giver, God, in advance. We thank you for it, and we ask and pray that you replenish it. Help there to be no lack. Always. Amen. And I say.